How's it going guys? Julian Bradley here from TheMusicalEar.com Hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different and I'm going to give you a studio tour and show you exactly how I make these videos. I'm going to show you some of the equipment which I use, the microphones, the cameras, etc. I'm also going to show you some of the software, so the audio editing and the video editing. I just want to show you a bit about what goes into making the videos from my end. So I hope you enjoy this video. So here is a shot of our apartment. We are actually not in the UK, as many people have asked. I'm actually in Los Angeles. This is where I live now. I've lived here since 2011, since I got married. My wife's from here originally. And this is the desk where I'll film all of the tutorials. Now the piano's not actually out right now, but basically the piano will just be on the desk. I'll have a tripod on the desk and I'll get a bird's eye shot. Now as far as equipment goes, for a long time I used one of these cameras, this is a Flip HD and this has been good for one main reason is that it's so light and it's very easy to mount in a bird's eye position. However, you may have noticed I'm now filming on a different camera and this is a quite a significant upgrade for me. And from now on I'll be using this camera which is a Panasonic GH4, it's a much better quality image. So I've been wanting to upgrade my camera for a long time, so this is the new image quality that I'm going to be using from now on. So here we have one of my favourite pieces of equipment, this is the Zoom H4n, and this is the microphone which I've used to record every single jazz piano lesson to date. And basically I'll place it here, it'll usually be on a cushion, and by doing that it sort of picks up both speakers, so I've got two KRK Rocket, uh, very happy with these speakers, very good value for money. And then this microphone will go here, it will pick up both my voice and the sound from the speakers. This is a Roland Cakewalk, this is my audio interface, I'm a big fan of Roland. I might be talking about Roland soon. Now the piano which I've been using in all my videos is the Roland RD700SX. Now, I've had this piano since 2007, however, they don't actually sell this model anymore, so the, the new version is the 800SX, and I might be doing a piano review on that piano coming up soon. So here's a shot of the apartment, this is where I film. Now you may have noticed we have a crib, we're actually expecting a baby in five weeks, partly why I'm filming this video now, since things probably won't be too tidy after that. We're actually uh, expecting a girl though in five weeks time, so we're very excited about that. So I record the video and the audio separately. First of all, I'll work on the audio and I do that in Logic. So we're looking at Logic right now. So what you're looking at is the audio from one of my lessons. Sometimes you don't get the complete 251. You'll just get the 25. And you might be surprised over here to see just how many effects I put the audio through. So mostly all of these effects down the side, which this audio is going through, most of these are compressors. So these are two compressors. Sometimes you don't get the complete 251. And basically what these compressors do is they compress the loudness, so anything that's really loud they'll crush them down so that everything's quite consistently the same loudness. Sometimes you don't get the complete 251, you'll just get the 25. And then the other thing I do is a lot of EQing. I have to dip certain frequencies, often in the mid-range, maybe I have to boost certain parts. Sometimes I have to dip these specific frequencies where you get a resonant frequency where a certain note is just really, really loud. Five, and then it'll go somewhere else. So that's a lot of effects that the audio has to go through before I even sync it up with the video. So now we're inside the film editing software which I use, which is called Premiere, it's by Adobe. Now back in the day I used to use iMovie, which is just a free movie software which comes with an Apple computer. However, I didn't have much control over the colour and there were several problems where my hands would look really red 
and the reason is that I couldn't control the saturation very well in iMovie and it just took me a long time to get the hang of how to get the colour right. So with Premiere you have a lot more control over the colour and also everything else. So here's one of the videos from the musicalear.com that I've been working on. As you can see there's a lot of editing, there's a lot of small cuts which I do. Sometimes I cut the audio, sometimes I cut just the image. Now in case you were wondering, all of the music which I use in all of my interludes is all composed by me, it's all produced by me. Over the years I've composed many tracks for my videos and I've got to the point where I have quite a large music library and I basically just choose from all these tracks and the idea is that these pieces of music always demonstrate the concepts which I'm talking about in the videos. So I can easily find a piece of music which demonstrates say the sus4 chord or chord inversion. I'll always find a track which plays something relevant. And I make all of my music inside Logic, which is the program you saw me on earlier. So I hope that's given you some idea as to the work which goes into the videos. On average it takes me about four days to make a video, that's a 10 to 15 minute video, at the piano. That includes preparation, filming, editing the audio, and finally the video editing which takes the longest of all. So thanks very much for watching, as always I'd really appreciate a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Apart from that you could check out the Facebook group, I guess I could do with a few more likes on the Facebook group. I'll link to that below this video, facebook.com slash jazz tutorial. You can also check out episode one from my ear training course, I'll link to that below, that's at themusicalear.com. But apart from that, thanks very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you again next time.